I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the AAC, BDM, and the Pathways for um, having me here in America, and certainly very honoured to be part of this process and the awards. What I try and do um, for people with disabilities in New Zealand is actually be a positive role model, and I always make sure that I look at both sides of the coin in the sense of what society can do better to help us, but also what people with disabilities can do smarter to help themselves also to get a better quality of life. I'm very fortunate to work as disability facilitator for the Ministry of Education in New Zealand. It has certainly probably taken more pressure off myself disability-wise by having a good job. And I'd have to say that it gives me the opportunity to work with people with disabilities, but also work with their families, which is quite crucial because families are often the people that dictate their aspirations and expectations for people with disabilities, certainly in the earlier part of their lives especially. It's amazing what we can do, whether we're affected by disability or not, if we don't give in. Many people have said to me, what would make you do something like Mount Kilimanjaro when you've got cerebral palsy to the level that you have? I think that's a fairly easy question to answer. No point in doing anything in life if you don't think you can do it. And despite the uh, lopsided odds, I always felt that it was something that I could achieve. Certainly Kilimanjaro was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And the only thing that I look back on and think, how do I actually make that? And I still wonder sometimes uh, how I did. My main motivation is the best way to change attitudes is to actually sometimes do things that other people believe people with disabilities aren't capable of doing. And I believe strongly that we need to change attitudes. Positive attitude. Well, I'd have to put that down to my family and especially my mother. A lot of people accuse my family of being very hard on me at a very early age, but the reality is it's the best favour they've ever done me in my life. And I'd have to say that it's good to show understanding for people with disabilities but more important, you know, we've got to get people ready for real life. And I believe my parents making hard decisions help me have a good attitude and a positive outlook on life and really help me get ready for what life was going to be like as opposed to how we would like it to be or how it could be. It's completely different. So when I'm working with people with disabilities, I always stress, make something bigger in your life than your biggest perceived hassle. And Certainly my biggest hassle that I have less control in is the disability, but I've made my family a bigger part of my life as opposed to my disability. And I do appreciate fully that for people with really severe disabilities, that might be as easy to do as what it has been for myself, but it is still achievable. The last thing is attitude. Everything is about attitude, and it's the one thing in life that no one can take off you. Your attitude to any given situation will be the difference between a good quality of life, a life, and a poor quality of life.